I wouldn't change the way I handled it. And it doesn't take away from what I learned or how I developed there. How you develop? You keep talking about development, yo. That's a word, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. Seriously. Hey, it's all good, man. Look, if you got any more questions, holler at me on the socials, all right? I got you. Or get my number from Ricky. Let's get some gumbo in New Orleans soon. <laughs> hey, I got you, bro. All right. I believe you. Thank you, man. Okay, so uh, what's this? Uh, uh. Okay. What's this urgent matter you gotta talk to me about? I never said urgent, learn to read. No, learn to communicate. Learn to appreciate me. Learn to recognize when your best friend who clearly loves and respects you is just giving you a hard time, bro. Chill out. Oh, I love when you get all sentimental, you know? It's adorable. No, 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 no. I think you mean sophisticated, mature, not afraid to be vulnerable, different things, bro. Definitely adorable. All right, so look. I've been working on setting up this My Hub app for you. You can actually access it through the TV. Oh, that's what you've been working on. Yeah, look, it's a productivity app that I downloaded, all right? All right, now, it's still in beta, so there might still be some bugs, but it lets you keep track of all kinds of stuff from the same screen. Hey, good looking out, Rick. Yeah, so anytime you got something important to attend to, it'll be on this screen. I mean, season schedules, endorsement opportunities, important social messages. Yo, that's, that's dope, bro. I appreciate you setting that up. That's fire. Yeah, man. Now. You know, you'll actually have to play some real games to get endorsement opportunities and schedules, which actually brings me to my next point. Uh, you ever hear of someone named Chip Seymour? Yeah, yeah, he's on the flex, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think somebody had him tuned in at 98.9 at the park yesterday. Yeah, he's like the morning drive guy, but yeah. Look, check this out, man. Everyone in the city is talking about our newest resident MP. The basketball sensation who moved here to do uh, what exactly? He hasn't declared for college. He hasn't signed with the G League team. He hasn't done anything to prove he takes his basketball career seriously since winning a few games in high school against a bunch of future pickup ballers. Now I'm a fan of basketball, the sport, and it's played at the highest level in the NBA, not on social. So until MP starts doing something to prove he's serious about the game, I'm going to keep on not caring about what he does. Disagree with me? Give us a call and we'll talk about it. You're listening to Chip Samuel on 98.9 The Flex. Okay, so some boomer on the radio don't get what we about. What's new, Rick? All right, that dude is a clown, yes, but look, he's right about this, bro. Like, you got to make a decision soon or the public perception of you is going to shift in a way that even I'm not going to be able to fix. I hear you. Uh, I'm ready to uh, uh, uh. Always talking. All right, what's up? All right, look, I'm ready to make a decision. You serious? Like, you finally put your big boy pants on. I don't like the way you said big boy pants. Man pants. 
That's somehow worse, bro. Okay, are you ready to be the decision daddy? Bro. <laughs> Look, you brought this on yourself, all right? You dragged this out for so long, so just spit it out. What do you want to do? I think we declare for the drive. What? You really think that's the right move? Yo, the NBA is all we ever talked about. Why shouldn't I go for it and we got a chance right now? Look, right now you're either mocked in the second round or undrafted. Neither of those options are good for you. And why not? Second round is facing uphill battle. Look, you're not the priority. The first rounder is. I mean, that's even assuming that you go to a team that cares about rookies in the first place. And let's say you go undrafted. I mean, how many music and fashion moguls do you know playing in Israel? Look. All that other stuff we talked about goes out the window if you don't make it to the league. So you don't think it's worth taking my shot at this first contract? No, I don't. Look, if it were up to me, you'd work on your game and your rep in college or the G League. I mean, but it's not up to me. All right, so what are you thinking? You still want to declare? Yes. Yeah, Ricky, look, I'm 100%, bro. This is my dream, and it ain't no other option for me. Okay. Then that's what we'll do then. Cool. So, so what's next? Next, we got to figure out your representation. Now, I've started doing some research, but I want to whittle it down to a few options just before I set up some meetings. Hey, look, that sounds good to me. Let's get it. Yo, yo, you ready to talk agents, bro? Are you ready, Rick? I'm excited to see what you got, man. You've been over there working like a dog in your little corner. Hey, do you know how many NBA agents there are? I had to do so much research, bro. Okay, so who's the front runner? Who are we looking at? All right, well, I've narrowed it down to two, and we are looking at Palmer Athletics Agency. PAA, right? Yep. Yeah. And Barry and Associates. I don't know them. Yeah, they're more up and coming, but they've got a lot going for them. I mean, especially if we're going to branch out into these more ambitious ideas with fashion and music. Hey, look, tell me about them, bro. All right, well, I've set up meetings with each agency, all right? So you got to go check these guys out in person and see just who you vibe with. I mean, but I can give you a primer. <laughs> yeah, let me hear it. All right, so PAA is like the gold standard. They've read anybody who's anybody in the NBA. Hall of Famers, all NBA, you name it. So why wouldn't we go with them, bro? Okay, well, let me tell you about Barry and Associates. Look, their founder, Barbara Barry, she's... <laughs> She's basically a savant. I mean, she started as a musician, became a producer, and now she's an agent. Killed it at all three levels. Mm, triple threat, I like that. Yeah, and they got a good amount of experience repping NBA players, too. I mean, they're just not as big as someone like PAA. Which means I might get some more personal attention. Hey. Yeah. Not only that, bro, but they rep a lot of musicians and people in the entertainment world. I mean, Palmer's pretty much all basketball. So that can open up a whole nother world for me, bro. Yeah, yeah. baby. I mean, you get big enough as an athlete, though, you could do the LeBron thing. Work with whoever you want, no matter who your agent is. I mean, look, there's just something about Barbara and her team, though. I mean, it's just, they pique my interest. I really feel like she got this unique vision. Like, she could really hook us up with some more outside-the-box kind of things. So that's the way you lean it, huh? <laughs> I honestly think both could do a great job. But, I mean, like any workplace relationship, a lot of it's going to come down to who you're comfortable working with. I mean, so you got to go down and meet them before you make a decision. I mean, just feel them out. See who's a good fit with you personally. Rick, what do you know about a workplace, bro? 2K shoes, that's not a boardroom, bro. All right, hold on. 2K shoes was hard work, bro. You're gonna stop trying to play my achievements. Okay, look, look, I know, I know your work ethic. It's amazing, my son, okay? All right, yeah, well, like I said, I set up meetings with both of them, all right? All you gotta do is go and listen. You can even ask some questions if you feel like participating. <laughs> you think you can handle that? Consider it done, my son. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. So annoying. 